go ahead and call the budget committee to order. We do have a set of minutes for mm. October the 6th. Motion we approve the minutes. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve. Is there any questions or concerns? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? You got four votes. The minutes will say you got four. You didn't hear them. But you got four. <laughs> okay. Uh, Aaron? Uh, uh, finance report is not in your packet tonight. It will be on your desk before the meeting. I will say property tax notices went out late. So, uh, you know, we talked about uh, at the last county commission meeting, I believe, that, uh, you know, it, it's a relatively small percentage of people who rush out to pay their property taxes in October, but it'll be a little bit you know, less than normal because notices did go out a little bit late. Um, so we can go on to budget amendments if everybody's ready. Yes, sir. Um, the first one, uh, we had coded um, uh, for WEMA, we had, they had, they had 150000 in land. Uh, they actually need that 150000 in uh, the motor vehicle line for um, this may be the ladder truck. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what this is for. Hold on just a second. Y'all forgive me. There was something that we were about to do, and I'm I'm drawing a blank. So my bad, I didn't make a note on it. From Tuesday night's meeting, what did they do? One hundred fifty thousand dollars. Hold on just a second. I don't. Well, I don't know what the land is about, but I know for the motor vehicles, we actually, um, we passed a resolution at EMA to buy a ladder truck up to $1.6 million. We're not, the, no, go ahead. Right. I don't think this one came that's, up. Yeah, that's not, okay. this one so didn't come up. No, we had three budget amendments that night. Yeah. yeah. This wasn't one of them. This was not one of them. It was not yeah. one of them. Hey. The 150000 that we're removing from land to vote motor vehicles, I cannot for the life of me remember what we were moving it for. Okay. <coughs> so th this, this was some that we were, that we were purchasing over the, the six year period or whatever, is that right? Okay, got it, thank you. All right, bye. Yeah, it's the three engines. We were short. Uh, we were short ninety-seven thousand. We had money in land and capital projects that we had carried forward. We're not going to have to buy any. So we thought it best just to move the money out of land into motor vehicles to uh, to make up for the amount that we were short for the fire truck purchases. Sure. Okay, but was the the committee vote on this? No, the committee never voted on it because we didn't know it until we got ready to make the payment. So it's basically already been approved by the committee six years ago, in essence. But the the payment, you know, you can uh, if you table it, it doesn't matter. You can defer it if you want. We'll pay it when whenever. Basically, we'll pay it out of the wrong line if we have to. But we're going to pay the bill. Can we go ahead and do this? I'd go ahead and do it. Okay, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion and a second. Any other <coughs> questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Next. Uh, county attorney uh, asking for additional money for legal no notices and court reporters for depositions. Yeah, every year in my budget there's $2,700 for that. The uh, when we file a case on zoning or whatever, the court costs are $345, so eight cases will eat that up. Right now, one case is eating it up, and that's the Rock Quarry case. We've had a lot of depositions and a lot of uh, uh, court reporter fees, and as several people sitting around here know, I've got lawsuits that need to be filed for them in their district. So that $10,000 will be eating up pretty quick. I feel fairly confident I'll have to come back sometime probably February and March and ask for more. Because the rock quarry case is ongoing, and then we've got three or four major ones we're fixing to, to deal with. So I need that money for, to file the. That, that goes into the circuit court clerk or the, or the clerk and master. So it's just a motion we approve. Second. <clears throat> motion is in a second to approve the request. Is there any other questions or concerns? All in favor say aye. 
Aye. Let me say, if I could say one other thing. Um, the fact that I had run out of money doesn't have anything to do with the fact I hadn't filed the other lawsuits. That's on me. Okay, so that's not an excuse. But I got to have the money. So, <clears throat> but the uh, everything else is on me. Unanimous. I'm sorry. I, I do want to mention a change that I made this time. And if you if you guys decide you don't like the change, we'll change it back. It, it has a, you haven't really seen an impact yet, but. Over on the right-hand side of your budget amendments, it used to say debit and credit. Mm -hmm. It now says increase and decrease. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one, so if everything is being increased, you're only going to see entries on one side of the ledger. For example, you're going to see one later on for tourism where he got a grant mm -hmm. for 127000 and change. <clears throat> everything will be on the increase side because everything is an increase. Okay. So if you look at that and you go, I don't like this, I want it back the other way, We'll we'll do it, but just wanted to let you know. Yeah, that's good. The uh, the budget amendment here for the county clerk, the first one is uh, uh, moving money out of rentals and into communications uh, for web hosting. So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the request. Any questions or concerns? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> Second one, and uh, I know the mayor uh, spoke with him about this. Uh, the county clerk was adding an employee. Now, I knew Jackie's was going from part time to full time. Was the county clerk's going from part time to full time as well? It is. Mm -hmm. uh, Stone building. Okay. <clears throat> For the number of uh, passports. That well, I did not double check. I may, I may have to bring a replacement for this because I did not double check like I did for Miss Jackie, the benefit line. Uh, I was, as far as I knew at the time that I was doing this, all I knew was they wanted $20,000. Part of that was insurance, part of that was Social Security, Medicare, et cetera. If it was in their letter of agreement, I probably already computed the Social Security and Medicare and everything on it, so I probably don't need it. But let's leave it here just for tonight and we can substitute it. We, if we have to, tonight at the county commission. Sure. Okay. So it's it's twenty thousand three forty one, which is what they told me they needed. Um, Eleven six twenty nine for insurance they need for sure. Five thousand three twenty for state retirement. Six forty three for Medicare and two thousand seven forty nine for Social Security. Uh, again, that Social Security, Medicare, and state retirement may already be accounted for. I'll have to double check. Mass Mayor. Mayor. Off the top of your head, do you know any about the letter of agreement? I mean, you good with it? So, so we're good with it, yes. Okay, okay. And it's because it's still doing it, and we talked about the numbers. I didn't have enough in the letter of agreement to cover it, so I had to have the extra for him. But he'll, he'll deduct that some part time and make it full time personality. Okay. Motion we approve? Second. So a motion and a second. Any other questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? <laughs> Next. Talkative bus tonight. <coughs> um, we have not had a finance committee meeting. We will need to have a finance committee meeting for this next one, so you guys will be passing this pending finance. Um, but basically, a lot of the, the memberships that we pay, um, uh, RTA, GNRC, MACO, they're all, uh, the dues are all based on, on county population. Um, and since we continue to have an increase in population, we're, we don't have enough money to pay all the dues we have to pay anymore. So uh, we're asking to take 8,000 out of fund balance and put it in dues and memberships. To, you know, all, these, all these things that we're a part of. Make a motion to approve subject to finance meeting to approve it. Second. Okay, you have a motion and a second. Any other questions, comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? <clears throat> uh, health department, this is the first one you see where everything's on the right-hand side of the column. Um, they're getting some additional money for the, uh, for the awning, and there's also, uh, they had their grant amended to uh, <coughs> to factor in the, the employee pay increases in accordance with the pay plan. Uh, if y'all, I don't know if we ever told you or not, but you know, we included the county, the health department employees in the pay plan 
but they're paid for by the state. So we, we pay them, the state reimburses us. Since the state the contract didn't cover the reimbursement for the additional wage expense, they didn't get the bump when everybody else did. So we had to get the grant contract amended to take care of that. So that's what this particular budget amendment does. It fixes what we need to be able to pay the employees in accordance with the pay plan and get reimbursed appropriately. Uh, also, the, uh, the awning that's being added onto the building. Hey, I, I see that part of this is an amendment to the grant contract. When I do the resolution, does it need to be to approve the budget amendment request and to approve the amendment to the grant request? Because it looks like the mayor's got to sign it. So I need to include that. Include both of them. And, and so it went up on the, the pay went up. They started getting paid, but he didn't tell his people at the state that it went up, and so therefore they wouldn't. So we we're going to run out of money. So that's what that, that, so we had to request the extra money to come from them. And I'll, I'll have to sign that amendment, so I would say yes. Yeah, I'll just, I'll word it that way if we don't need it. Okay. Yeah. Motion to approve. Second. So a motion and a second to mm -hmm. approve. Any other questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Next one is uh, registered deeds. Miss Jackie's here, but she has a request to add uh, 11629. This is also, and I did verify that the benefits are there for her, except when you, the one benefit we don't have factored in for a part-time person is insurance. So that's what we're asking for here is the money for insurance for her to move uh, money out of part-time into full-time to add a deputy. And if you have any questions, Miss Jackie was kind enough to show up tonight. Just for the record, Mr. Goodall texted me they were coming back from that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so we talked, yes, me and Miss Jackie talked, and the uh, letter of agreement is good. We just need the benefits there. She's going to take it out of part time, just like you said. So we're good on our end. Motion we approve. <clears throat> have a motion and a second to approve the request. Are there any other questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? Tourism grant uh, budget amendment. If you look on the second page, you'll see this is a multi year grant. And it actually is going to be for five years. This first year is $127,623. And then the subsequent years, it will be $80,604.02. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, always great. This is a no match required. Um, and this is how we got the grant contract today so the third page there is actually the uh, the budget that has been uh, approved at the present time by the in the grant contract so this this budget amendment basically sets up that that grant budget motion to approve second I have a motion and a second to approve is there any questions comments all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh. Any opposed? WEMA, uh, these, the, the first two budget amendments kind of go together. I don't know if you can vote on them together or not, but by way of explanation, we've got Station 3 and Station 10 that are under construction. <coughs> uh, they all require FF&E uh, furniture, fixture, and equipment. Uh, that was not factored in to the cost of construction. Uh, so some of it is coming out of the uh, reserve fund out of 101 and this is stuff like uh, computers perhaps and things like that I don't have a sheet of paper in front of me but the vast majority of the furniture and fixtures and equipment was appropriate to buy out of um, um, do I have the wrong one well what's throwing me here is yeah th this is Y'all give me just a minute. I'm sorry, something's still on me. 6,100. That's not that. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. Because this is 118. This is, so the 118, y'all forgive me. This is, this is, let's do the 67. That's, <laughs> that's 10 care money that came in at the, right at the end of the year that uh, actually went into the patient charges line, which is 101. It should have gone into 118. So that's to reclass the ten, the extra ten care money over into the um, over into the uh, one ten care money line and put it in other equipment, which is where we have uh, they buy ambulance equipment and stuff for that money. So moved. 
Second. I have a motion and a second to approve. Any other comment or Yeah. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, the 6100, 6, sorry, we'll get to the budget amendment I thought we were looking at a minute ago. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the next one is to um, take money out of the reserve account to put into office equipment uh, to be utilized at the new dispatch center location. I don't know if you've got any further explanation on that, if any is needed. Chairs. Chairs. Okay. That's coming out of their reserve fund. <coughs> Second. So a motion and a second to approve. Any other comments or questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, the next one is the one that I thought we were doing a minute ago. Uh, the, um, <clears throat> so the custodial supplies, the 3,777.62 has to come out of the general fund. This, this one budget amendment is covering money coming out of two different funds. Uh, Mike may tell me to go back and split it, and I will if he tells me to. Um, so you've got money coming out of the general fund to uh, take care of custodial supplies, and you've got 70866 coming out for data processing and station equipment. I think it'll be all right. Yeah. It's pretty easy to identify. <clears throat> there. Yeah. And you've got another one just like it here when you get to it on the... Light, yes. Ladder truck. Yes. We did. Again, this is the one that I thought I was doing a few minutes ago, which is the additional, um, yeah, the additional uh, equipment, uh, furniture, fixtures, and equipment needed for station three and ten. There a motion to approve? Motion. Second. A motion and a second to approve. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Um, <clears throat> the next one is the going to be coming out of ARP. It's for uh, CPR devices. Um, I know this has been through EMA and um, we didn't have it. We didn't have it listed on here, but I remember it. We have it. We have it discussed. We have in the minutes on the page behind it where it was discussed. Mm -hmm. You remember what month that was? So I just last month. I think it was the last month. Last month. I think it was last month one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I guess we talked about it, just didn't do it. Talked about it, we just did not do an amendment. So second. So a motion and a second to approve. Is there any other questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The, the next one, and if I went out of order, I apologize if I got if I got out of order, the eight hundred thousand, uh, the one point six million that is the uh, half of it coming out of the capital projects fund, half of it coming out of the general fund for the ladder truck. Um, you have 25 million in the general fund and fund balance. You have 10 and a half million roughly in the capital projects fund in the fund balance. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm watching just like the rest of you are to see how, you know, how things go with the pay plan, how revenues come in. But, I mean, I'll put it this way. This is not going to break you. Okay. If you think this is a necessary expenditure, then buying this ladder truck is not, this is not going to be the difference in whether you, you make it or not. Just buy two. If you want. Okay. Motion to approve. <laughs> Second. <laughs> okay, we do have a, we do have a motion to approve and a second. Questions and concerns, comments? No, sir. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Uh, there's a resolution in there that um, 
Mike, if you will please read over this. I, I, uh, you and I talked about it yesterday, and I got with Christy today and, and re, uh, redrafted. Okay. But um, this is the one for using $500,000 of the T-Deck uh, money uh, for the state of And the only question I have, Mayor, you can probably answer this, does it affect anything we approved last month? Do we need to set something aside? What happened last month is <coughs> each one of those utility issues got um, a million. A million. And she put she transport transports or whatever you call it uh, a million on stormwater and it should have been five hundred thousand. So we need to correct last month instead of saying a million, it okay. should have said five hundred thousand. So, so what whatever the resolution had a million needs to be set aside and sub this needs to be approved. Yes. Okay. okay. So we just approved too much. And the grant was for four point five million and so yep. everybody got a million except for stormwater got five hundred thousand. Okay. We'll fix it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So moved. Second. Okay, well, motion and a second to approve uh, the new resolution. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? First time y'all ever taking money back? I can remember. Uh, next one is for the uh, school system. Yes, sir. Uh, July summer school budget. Uh, budget amendment is not requesting. It request any additional funds from fund balance. So uh, I'm assuming, Mr. Murphy, correct me if I'm wrong. If, um, we've got some revenue coming in. Yeah, we've got some additional revenue coming in. and, and uh, Are these funds that were not spent last year? <laughs> no. the, well, yes. The summer school goes <coughs> ends up over two periods, June and July. So we received the money. Most of the money was spent in June when we had summer school. This was the remaining money that was still to be spent. And it was just the that summer is over. Yeah, they're they're not all in one place, so you have to. So the, the quick and dirty is if you see a four thousand account, that's a revenue account. If you see a five thousand or beyond, that's an expense account. Mm -hmm. So looking at the, like I see one revenue account toward the bottom of the page for seventy seven thousand dollars. You know, so they're they're kind of spread throughout, but. Yeah, it's just additional revenue received and budget in the appropriate expenditure. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. A motion and a second. Any other questions? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Um, Mayor, do you have anything that you want to bring up? I <laughs> Now, um, the Green Hill High School project is finished now. R.G. Anderson did that project as well. I remember Mr. Kurtz asking early on about uh, them finishing in the black, and again, they finished several times, and again this year they finished in the black on Green Hill. $736,636 left over out of that, um, that school project. So talk with Director Luttrell. He would like for y'all to give him permission, because we always come back to the Budget Committee if there's money left over on direction on how to spend that. Uh, so we're just asking tonight for permission for him to go back to his school board and talk about um, a use for that money. Maybe not all of it, but at least for part of it. And the direction for that would be for a Wilson Central uh, hitting facility for the girls um, softball team. Every other school has that. We do not have one at Wilson Central. Um, and uh, he would like to go back and talk to his board about that and carry that process if you guys are willing to give him that option to do that. Yep. So what was the what was the leftover funds again? Seven hundred thirty six thousand six hundred thirty six dollars. Is there a motion to allow the school board to discuss the use of these funds? Motion. Second. Motion and a second. Any other questions? 
and once they did that, they would come back to us again for final spending. We'd make sure it was Mike if it's a liable <coughs> spending, I think it is. And then if there's any money left over, we'll revisit that at that time. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Anything else, sir? Nothing for me. Um, do you have an update on the 109 Wema property? I do. Um, I don't have anything factual, but I did call Taylor this week and ask him did he have anything for me. He said they're working through that process, should have me some numbers next month. Okay. I will say that uh, on the post office as well, we've had WSMB uh, did a, a story and so did Channel 5. Uh, not a negative story, but a, a, a positive story on what could that become. Uh, so hopefully that's some good publicity for us on that uh, posting as well. Okay, um, I've had a couple of people um, come to me and ask about um, our adequate facilities tax and what it is um, bringing in to the county at this time and um, possibility of discussions concerning the um, change of that uh, tax. So I ask uh, Aaron to bring us some information I think he's already passed it out, but I would like for him to go over that, please. Sure. Um, so what you're looking at, I went back to 2019 through 2022. Those are the, the four most recent completed years, and I didn't think it was a good idea to base a discussion about like this off of any one year. So, uh, you know, our adequate facilities tax gets split into two different funds, into 189, which is a capital projects fund, and 159. <coughs> debt service fund so you'll see for each year listed there how much went into each fund uh, you'll definitely notice uh, immediately that between 19 and 20 is when we raised it from 3,000 to 5,000 and you'll see what happened uh, what's happened since 20 and particularly in 21 and 22 um, so over the, those four years I'm coming up with an average uh, of 2,595 units. Now, 19 is low. I think it's better to be conservative on this. Um, so if this number is skewed a little bit low, I'm actually happy about that. Um, so at 2,595 units, uh, what I was asked to do was to look at it at 7,500, which would be an additional 2,500 a unit. Uh, that would produce another <coughs> 4 million. Uh, and if we raised it to, if, if it was raised to 5,000, that would produce almost another 13 million, assuming that building, again, I think this number is conservative enough, but, you know, housing, this is not like a property tax is what I'm trying to say. When you raise right. a property tax, it is, a, you're guaranteed to get that money. If economic activity on the real estate side slows down, construction, whatever else, you, you know, this is the best number that I can give you, I, you know, but it's not a guarantee. Okay, I do not know the, the uh, exact uh, process to go through to change the adequate facilities tax, um, but I did want Aaron to share this information with us just in case. Um, we wanted to address that. <coughs> would there be another committee that this would need to go through first? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I don't think so. No, this is, this is purely a financial thing. Mm -hmm. I'd have to go back and read the uh, <coughs> private act, but I think it requires, it requires a two-thirds vote. I think so. Mm -hmm. it to increase it, but the county commission has the authority to increase it. On a two thirds vote. I mean, I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for uh, that this evening, but uh, it it's something that um, probably needs to be discussed. And um, I, I know there's going to be certain um, organizations, people that are not going to be in favor of this because they felt like it was going to hurt their business and their, I mean, I got accused of a lot of things the last time we voted on this, and 
taking food away from their babies and everything else. And uh, <coughs> slowed down a lot of our growth. Uh, did it slow down? No, I'm No, it actually. That was the argument. It actually went up. Slow down. Yeah. <clears throat> I, yeah. Yeah. And you know, I I don't want, I don't want anybody to take it wrong, but quite frankly, I, I'm not it would be a bad thing to slow down a little bit of the growth because we're having a very difficult time keeping up with uh, everything at this point in time anyway uh, especially our schools and, our, uh, and there well there's just a lot of areas um, so that's the reason I asked Aaron to bring it out because a lot of I mean there was a few people not a lot of people there's a few people that come to me about it so um, I would like for us to uh, discuss this next month for sure uh, have it on the agenda and uh, and consider uh, possible changes and if if after people talk and if they feel like it's not something they want to do at this point in time then that's fine but I think we I wanted to bring it out and get it out and open now and get ready to talk about it in December um, okay. Does anybody have anything they'd like to say about it? Going in the right direction. Mr. Jensen, yes. Question, well, sure. Jen, uh, ran the numbers going forward. Did you run? Did, don't worry about it. What the difference would have been if we would have remained at seventy five hundred? We moved it last time. Yeah, we went down. Oh, I could I could do that, sir, but I did not. Okay. So you so uh, yeah, you're talking about it was amended. We, it was going to be seventy five hundred last time, and it was amended on the floor down to five. I I could certainly run that number, but I did not, sir. I did not. Um, I would I would just like to ask, you know, when we get when we get ready to to have the discussion, uh, <coughs> and I don't. <coughs> Everybody's confused by this. I just want everybody to realize that your capital projects fund, uh, not your capital projects, your adequate facilities tax that goes to capital projects and debt service, that private act <coughs> limits those funds to those two things. Yes. It limits those funds to the, to the building of buildings, the purchase of assets, and the payment of debt, basically. Um, so if anybody has a, a, a grand idea <laughs> that, you know, we're going to take this money and, and, uh, and go you know operate um, somehow uh, this is not operating dollars so uh, I just need to be sure everybody's kind of clear on that now again we can kind of do what we did last time but if you're asking me to trade property tax for adequate facilities tax in my debt service fund that's not a good trade so um, you know I just want people to realize the, the limitations that are there I know right now it's one third to one eighty nine and two thirds to one fifty one. We can by statute still put into one fifty two if we need to, but we'd have to do the split with eleven and special, right? Yes. <coughs> okay. Yeah. But again, one fifty two so far and, and it'll depend on what's brought to us and when. Right. One fifty two right now is holding up pretty well. Right. But if we've got to build another elementary school or another middle school or Yes. Two elementary schools. Yes. We come out of 152. Yes. Absolutely. I just did a quick calculation from when we increased it back in tw uh, t 2020 to now on the number of units. Yes. Uh, we left $22,257,500 on the table. Wow. $22,000,000. 22 $22,500. Twenty twenty two thousand twenty two million two hundred and fifty seven thousand five hundred dollars. Two point <coughs> dropping from seventy five hundred to five thousand. That's what we left on the table. You can look at is it. Is there a reason this has been a flat rate and not a percentage of the actual facilities yes. being built? Yes, sir. The county powers relief act. If we were to change our act, then all of this money would belong to education. None of it could be used for your jail, none of it could be used for a multi level court system. Uh, when, when this act was first adopted way back when it was adopted at a thousand dollars at a thousand dollars and it cannot be changed except for the rate so if we decided all of a sudden we're going to do it off square footage we fall under the county powers relief act and we lose from our side we lose everything 
Yeah, we lose, we would lose money we too. Lose, because yes. we make more. There was a discussion several years ago about increasing it but at the same time in that resolution and this would be my question, whether or not you could put a percentage additional percentage each year for five years and at that point in time that being the milestone to exactly where you are. Is that possible, Mike? I'd be concerned with the percentage, Jerry, just because of what Aaron just said about the county <coughs> powers act. Yeah, but I think you could. You yeah, you could. I, I, it's not worth the risk in my mind. I but I think what you could do is say well, we're going to raise it a thousand dollars a year for the next five years. You could do that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but you said a percentage. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, still right. yeah, I think you could do that. If, if you did, if you did five hundred a year, mm -hmm. that'd be twenty-five hundred. Theoretically, keeping up the inflation and the yeah. growth. And I think I think you could. I don't think that destroys the context of the private act. Yeah, keep it in dollars. Um, keep it in dollars. Like budget, though. Pardon? Yes, sir. I did. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, something like Jerry mentioned might be our best bet. I want to remind everybody. I don't know if people too young to have lived through the Carter administration. <laughs> I bought a house at eighteen and a half percent on Nonable Road was tough um, but we're in an inflationary economy right now and the only thing I've ever seen the national government do to fix inflation is to kill the economy it's nuclear medicine and, and, and they'll raise interest rates and so what we would be doing in our county as we raise these is we would be that's upfront money that's at the beginning of a development that is the worst thing you're going to do to the developer. So if we were to jump to say ten grand or something, or eight grand, I mean we could we could cause a lot of people to go to Sumner or Williamson or wherever county, and that might be okay. If that's what the county, if that's what the commission wants to do. But this isn't the same period of time that we're dealing with. We were booming when we raised it from three thousand to five thousand. I mean it was we were trying to do something, and we didn't want to. Hurt development, but right now it could really hurt development. I mean, we aren't in the same time. It's not good times right now, and inflation doesn't seem to be getting any better. Well, if, you, if you pass this uh, with the escalating cost of all the minutes, you'll need more schools. It's going to come with more schools. Mm -hmm. grow. If you pass this, you can come back in year two and decrease it or modify it. Can you not, Mary Jane? You can. You can. You can decrease or. It, the whole thing with increase. design is a problem. And, 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 you know, you increase a little bit, you slow your growth, and that's what you want to do. But we, we, didn't, we didn't look at it for, what, four years, five years, whatever? It's been a while. And, and it was designed, as I recall, to bring in enough money to cover the anticipated cost of building projects like schools, Correct. jail, Correct. WEMA stations. This and one. Of course, it was a educated guess. Yeah. This one was specifically the jail. How much additional money are we going to need to be able to build the jail? But but again, you know, there were there was also it was also a throttle. I think that's why we started at seventy five hundred and then people got concerned that maybe that was too far and I think that's why who, it got who made that amendment? Five. Couldn't tell you sir. Without, without going back and looking I just don't got amended on the floor. But the purposes clause in that <laughs> private act is mm -hmm. broad enough to cover other things besides Absolutely. Right? I was just saying the, yeah. the reason that but the, not operational costs and not no, no, no. I was just saying the driving force behind the raise last time as much as anything was how are we going to pay for the jail. Yeah. That was why we ultimately made the yeah. And I know y'all are called <clears throat> issues and sometimes can't say things, but what really happened was is that the realtors convinced us it was going to slow down growth mm -hmm. in this county. And it did not. And it doesn't seem to have done so. It did. It actually it never has. I think it's a good idea to, to, to look at that. Yeah, and, I'll uh, some call from my realtor friends. <laughs> no sense dancing around it. It varies. Um, um, is, uh, I think Colonel McFarland has done some research on it. I haven't done. I haven't looked at it in a while, but I think he was it Williamson that has or somewhere that has two different ones that you were telling me about. It, so, it was well, it's, it's William. Williamson can They have, have two different ones, but. Yeah. Uh, I think when I'm talking to Mayor Jennings about this, that may violate our private action. Oh, it would. We'll do that. Yes, sir. No, we it don't would. Do that. No, no, it would, sir. No, no question about it. Yeah. Um, I will try to bring you some information back on that next.
next month. I don't know. Um, you know, I don't really. The really, I don't think it's it's out there has the whole whole book that I'll give you get in the same day. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah, other it doesn't apply to all building projects in the county. I think there's there's some exemptions for churches and and yeah, and uh, if you uh, like warehouses pay it. Well, you, you got two different things now. You got a building permit fee that you pay that's based on square footage, and then the adequate facilities tax is just based on the unit. So if you build a 100,000 square foot unit and Randall builds a 5,000 square foot, they both pay the same thing. Right, but what I'm saying, <coughs> in industrial con construction, they pay the AFT or no? They okay. <coughs> industrial only, construction? No, we only have residential AFT. Our facilities <coughs> use tax and the private act only goes to residential units, period. So it would mean like if you built an apartment complex and there were 100 apartments, they'd pay 100 times the 5,000 one-time fee. But we do not have a commercial facilities use tax for commercial buildings. Why do we not? At all. That's a good question. I don't know, but we do not. Trying to bring the That, yeah, that facility tax was put in because of the chance of what it would cost for every home owner that came in that was bringing people in for us to lock up or educate. Uh -huh. The commercial building itself that came in, it would take 225 homes for most of the time to, to adequately pay for the tax that that particular building brought in. For example, out 840, because of the water and sewer, all those buildings out there bring in about a little over eight and a half million a year right now. So those are good things. You don't want that. And I, and I will say this about that facility tax. I think the question we have to answer is why are we raising it? Because we know it don't stop growth. And then also, these estimated amounts that we have in here, and Aaron, you back me up on this, the numbers that we got coming in now is what we are obligated to pay for our future debt that we've just engaged in. So if we mess it up, um, then we're going back to property tax. So what Bobby was saying about stalling things, I mean, the economy could stall on its own, forget about the adequate facility tax, but I gotta have what's coming in now to pay, pay the debt that we got. So, I mean, and I know we see dollars and say, hey, look, let's add two more, it's 22 million, and that'd be great because we got plenty of things to do, but I don't want to mess up what I got either as we think through that, so let's, let's please uh, consider that as we go up. I mean, that's just, any other comments? In Cheatham County, County. That, that, that happened in Cheatham County. They had the same idea of saying, hey, look, we're, gonna, we're tired of growth and we're going to raise it all up. They did. Nobody wanted to go there. They, they did theirs on purpose. They did it on purpose. Their county attorney told me that one day. and We were riding somewhere, and I said, that's going to kill your growth. And he said, what do you think we did it for? Oh, my goodness. They wanted to slow it down for a year or two and then Quit. start the process back. But it almost Cheatham did. County. That's, that's been 15, 20 years ago. But it almost I mean, He that, told me that on the way to the golf course. Okay, so that's going to kill Any you. Any other comments or qu questions? Okay. Any other new business? One motion. Motion adjourned. <clears throat>